This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. What up guys, your boy Quake, and thanks to CatBeast for sponsoring this video. This is a website that I use to order my customized hats that I wear always in my pictures and videos on Instagram. It's a great website to get quality hats and the way you want them. Check them out in the description below. What up guys, your boy Quake, and Eminem is back taking subtle shots at Lord Jamar. But before we get into that, be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. A link is in the description below for both. Just this past Friday, Eminem was performing in Abu Dhabi, and while he was performing there, he decided to take shots at Lord Jamar. And if you're wondering why Eminem is entertaining Lord Jamar still, basically in August earlier this year, Lord Jamar went on a rant on Instagram Live and basically went off on Eminem and got Royce the 5'9 included and basically called out Royce the 5'9 and said, why are you defending this white guy? Are you a puppet to him? So on and so forth. And of course, Royce the 5'9 then went on Instagram Live and defended himself for defending Eminem and said to Lord Jamar, you're a legend. Why do you keep mentioning Eminem's name in your mouth for views? And in the midst of that happening, Eminem tweeted randomly out of nowhere. Remember, Eminem rarely ever tweets. So when he did this, everyone was paying attention. He said people think they want this problem till they get it. And everyone speculated it was towards Lord Jamar. And people were expecting maybe Kamikaze 2 to come out, a follow-up where he's responded to Machine Gun Kelly, Lord Jamar, and potentially more people that were going after him. Plus, after this happened, just a couple weeks later, 50 Cent decided to go on a promo run for his TV show Power and mentioned in various interviews that he was working with Eminem and that Eminem is working with Dr. Dre on his new album. And it wasn't just 50, a producer that was working with Dr. Dre mentioned that Dr. Dre played a lot of music in the studio and that a lot of it featured Eminem. On top of that, radio personality Big Boy even mentioned that he went over to Dr. Dre's studio and Dr. Dre was playing music and the music was constantly with Eminem. So clearly Eminem is cooking something up, but we don't know exactly what it is. He pressed his play. No. Some, and, and not putting anything crazy out there, but Dr. Dre and Eminem, just from what I heard, you know, only a yeah. couple songs, amazing. Oh my God. And, and I'm, I'm not putting yeah. anything out there that he said, you know, because there's been yeah. things that, you yeah. know, that M is working mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? There has been. There's been and I did ask him, can I something. say something? You know, but yeah. Oh my and I'm gosh. Talking about they, they Even in the 50 bag. the other day said that he was working on, that Eminem had something, he's working on something. And hey now man, we know that I Eminem. heard it and, and it, it was like, and it wasn't because Dr. Dre pressed play on it. It was because what they're coming with is fire. Damn. Oh my god! And it's new, new, and new. I, I day, brand new. Fast forward to now, and while performing in Abu Dhabi, here's the video footage of Eminem going at Lord Jamar. You had a dream. I had no dream. I had a dream that I was a fucking nobody who sucked at rap. So clearly after all this time has passed, for some reason, what Lord Jamar is saying about Eminem is getting under Eminem's skin because Machine Gun Kelly has also said a lot of things since their battle in September of 2018, but Eminem hasn't really responded to Machine Gun Kelly. He's kind of brushed him off, which is interesting. When it comes to Lord Jamar, he decides to go at him directly and respond to him, but when it comes to Machine Gun Kelly, he just brushes it off. I feel like he should go after Machine Gun Kelly a little bit more because Machine Gun Kelly is actually a current rapper right now. Lord Jamar is basically retired, so he can't really do much when it comes to music. Music. And if he does respond, most people don't want to hear it. At least Machine Gun Kelly has a current fan base. A new person that just recently voiced his opinion on Eminem being a guest in hip hop is Talib Kweli. He appeared on Vlad TV just recently and said that he had an issue with Eminem calling Lord Jamar the B word. And why is because Eminem is a white guy in hip hop. And him calling another black guy the B-word to Talib Kweli was very unsettling. But he did say that he does not feel like Eminem is a guest in hip-hop. I don't think Eminem is going to go at Talib Kweli for saying this because 
Eminem respects Talib Kweli a lot more than Lord Jamar, and Talib Kweli didn't say it in a really disrespectful way. If you guys want to see that full interview, I left a link in the description below. It's on Vlad TV's channel. Go ahead and check it out. It's interesting to see his take on everything. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the album that Eminem is working on. A lot of people are saying they love the content that they are hearing from Eminem based on the production from Dr. Dre. Eminem and Dr. Dre working together is always a good thing. It's rare that it ever goes wrong. I like Eminem's last album, Kamikaze. I actually loved it. I still listen to it to this day. It was very well executed and it did not feel very mainstream like Revival or like Recovery or like Marshall Mathers LP2. You know, it featured a lot of pop acts here and there, especially Revival. That album really felt pop-like, and that's why it didn't really resonate with a lot of fans. So I hope this new album, based off what people are saying, is just straight hip-hop, you know, working with Dr. Dre in the production, having features like 50 Cent, Kendrick Lamar. Hell, I would love to hear Eminem and J. Cole, that would be very interesting. Eminem and Hobson will also be something that would be interesting because Hobson is just like the black version of Eminem, but a little bit different. He definitely got his style from him, so it would be interesting to hear them on the same track and so on and so forth. There's so many artists that Eminem hasn't worked with that would be great on a track with him. So in the comments below, let me know what you guys think on what you guys are expecting from this upcoming Eminem album. Do you guys want it to be more hip hop? Do you guys want it to feature more rappers? Do you guys want it to be balanced? What do you guys want? And what features would you want Eminem to do? With the new artist, the older generation, whatever, any artist that you guys would like to hear, even ones that he's already did songs with. Like, I would like to hear Eminem and Akon again. That would be something that I feel would be dope. So let me know in the comments below. If you want to support the channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more. You can help support this channel further. A link in the description below. Like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. I do videos like this daily on hip hop news and much more. So definitely subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. Like us on Facebook and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.